Is the defendant guilty or innocent? Give him the electric chair. Hey, Aya, can you open this door, someone asks. Hmm, afterwards, I mean, the whole time he kept trying to escape. And where did the call originate from? Well, AI called security to alert the crew that the murder was going on. I wasn't there on purpose. I'm a miner and was on my way to engineering. He knocked me unconscious, Megabean says. Sabine was attacking. I woke up in there fighting for my life. Napalm does nothing to thermite. Yeah, I don't know how to make napalm and thermite yet. There was a reason, chaplain and toxins. Does anyone have a pen? His ID does state he was a miner. Well, check the uh, check the logs, the crew logs, the manifest. Should tell what he is or was, right? Wormholes all over Medical Bay. Wormholes all over the place. So what's the verdict? I need to get a pin, hang on. The judge leaves. Well, I guess I do have a pin here. A little bit slow. In fact, a lot of bit slow, actually. There you go. I love how we're having a trial for this guy, but casually spacing anyone who interferes. That's how it should be, Ken. They burn the whole station. They're all miscreants. My accent is gone when I whisper. That's insane. So, where's Abat now? Somebody's trying to be unhandcuffed. There's Scotty in blue. Uh, Mega Bean. Do not push me into this. Don Glover points to the paper. Is there anything new wrote on it? Hmm. Why did he drag you into electrical? Where did you first encounter Mega Bean? We're gonna get to the bottom of this one way or another. This trial might take some time. So might just jump in or disappear into the wormhole there? Where'd the judge go? Welcome back, judge. <clears throat> the judge clears his throat. And Hope Murray regains his hearing. Wally McCracken teleports in on top of the table. This whole courtroom is a mockery. Hello, boxer. There's Abe. Well, how did you get into electrical? Where did you first encounter Megabean? Answer the question so the court may continue. There we go. They're pulling Wally off of the table. <laughs> Beat him down, Nano Tracing Commander guy. Let's see. What's his ID badge say? System Federation Commander. How did he get, where did you first encounter Megabean? You have asked that like eight times. I'm not sure. I think through the open door, Hope says. He didn't have access. It was open at the time. Thank you. Well, why was it open then? Oh, crap. I just got thrown through a wormhole. Where did I end up at? Oh, I ended up behind the kitchen. I think, what is this? Is this, there's the kitchen. Yes. Someone let me out of the uh, tunnels by the detectives, please. I got teleported in here. Uh, let's see. I do have a rolling pin I could beat people with. And Dean Denton begs for a banning. I think... Yeah, there's the hallway. Yeah, okay. See, so I thought that there was doors here. Maybe not.
Help to the tunnels. Help to the tunnels by detective, please. Or give me another black hole to jump into. <clears throat> no telling what's going to happen to the, the trial now. AI, please confirm the state of the singularity. People are running around being chased by security. How far into the round are we? 38 minutes? It's not too bad. Quit chasing him. Open one of these doors. This is another reason kind of why I highly suggest um, grabbing a blue toolbox as soon as you arrive on the station and putting at least a welder and a wrench or crowbar into your backpack. That way you can remove walls if you have to instead of being trapped. So I'm just going to wait here for a moment until one of these doors open. Well, looks like uh, the judge finally came to a decision while I was trapped in the tunnels here. Don Glover. Where did he start at? On the suggestion of the jury, both Hope Murray and Megabean are guilty of being shit. Their sentences are to be strapped to chairs and force-fed shit. Please carry this out in accordance with Nano Trace and Law. Court is adjourned. Um. Ooh, hey look, a bailiff bonk. Took a portal to the syndicate station. And I'm still trapped back here. So this might be it. My, my little run on this station as the chef. It's probably going to come to an end. Trapped in this, this tunnel here. I'm going to wait it out for a bit. And I will come back if um, somebody decides to let me out. I've asked multiple times. But, you know, it's my accent. No one, under, no one understands what I'm asking with my accent. to help one. Oh yeah, BTW, it'll be on vacation in Transylvania for the next three days, so do not expect updates. X six X oh my god. <clears throat> All day I wondered what the surprise was. Meanwhile, I popped on a black letter mini, a black corset with purple lace stuff all over it, and black gothic compact boots. MCR were gone to the concert again since Volksmort had taken over the last one. I slit my wrists while I moshed to MCR in my bedroom all night, feeling excited. Suddenly someone knocked on the door while I was trying on some black clothes and moshing to Fang U for the Venom. I got all mad and turned it off. But sacredly, I hopped inside that it was Draco so we could do it again. What the fucking hell are you doing? I shouted angrily. It was Lupin. Are you gonna come rape me or what? I yelled. I was allowed to say that because Dumbledore had told us all to be careful around Hem and Snap since he was a pedo. No, act Shelley. Get it? Hell. Can I please burrow some condemns? He growled angrily. Yeah, so who can fuck her six-year-old girlfriend, huh? I shouted sarcastically. Fooker, he said, gong away. Well, anyway, I put on some black eyeshadow, black eyeliner, and some black lipstick and white foundation. Then I went. Then I gasped. Snake and Lupin were in the middle of the empty hall doing it, and Dobby was watching one. Oh my god, you ludicrous idiot, they both shooted angrily when they saw me. Dobby ran away crying. They got up, though. Normally, I would have been turned on. I love seeing guys do it. But both of them were fucking preps. BTW, Snake is mobbed to Gryffindor now. WTF, is that why who wanted condoms? I asked it sadistically. See, I spelled that. Only you wouldn't give them to me, Lumpkin shouted angrily. Well, you should have told me, I replied. You dimwit, Snake began to shoot angrily, and then... I took out my black camera and took a pic of them. You could see that they were naked and everything. Well, excuse me, they both shouted angrily. What was that all about? It was to blackmail Ooh, I snarked. Now, next time you see me doing it with my boyfriend, you can't fucking rat me out or I'll show this to Dumbledork. So fuck off, Ooh bastards. I started to run. They chased me, but I threw my wound at them and they tripped over it. Well, anyway, I went outside and there was Vampire looking extremely fucking hot. 
WTF, where's Draco? I asked him. Oh, he's being a fucking bastard. He told me he couldn't come. Vampire said, shaking his head. We want to come with me? To the concert? Then, he showed me his flying car. I gasped. It was a black car. He said his dog father, Sirius Black, had given it to him. The license plate on the front said MCR666 on it. The one on the back said NOB on it. I gasped. We flew to the concert hall. MCR were there playing. Vampire and I began to make out, moshing to the music. I gasped, looking at the band. I almost had an orgasm. Gerard was so fucking hot. He began to sing Helena, and his sexile, beautiful voice began to fill the hall. And then I heard some crying. I turned and saw Draco crying in a corner. Chapter 21 A.N. Fuck oo, okay? Oo fucking suk. It's nut my foot if it's spelled wrong, okay? Cause that bitch ravern, cause it fuck oo preps. One. Whoops, saws raven fangs for the help. BTW Transylvania rocks frad. I even got to go to the castle where Dracola was filmed. X's sixes X's later we all went in the skull Draco was crying in the common room Draco are oo okay I asked in a gothic voice no I'm not oo fucking bitch he shouted angrily he stated to run out of the place in a suicidal way I started to cry cause I was afraid he would commit suicide it's okay Enobi said vampire comfortly I'll make him feel better Oo mean oo go fuck him, won't you? I shouted angrily. Then I ran to get Draco. Vampire came too. Draco, please come, he began to cry. Tears of blood came down his pale face. I was so turned on cause I love sensitive bi guys. If er a homophone, then fuck of. And then we heard some footsteps. Vampire got out his block invisibility coke. We both got under it. We saw the janitor, Mr. Norris, there, shouting angrily with a flashlight in his hand. Who's there? he shouted angrily. We saw filth come. He went under the invisibility clock and started to meow loudly. Is anyone there? yelled Mr. Norris. No, fuck ooh ooh, preppy little poser, son of a fucking bitch, vampire said under his breast in a disgusted way. Excuse me, excuse me, who said that? yelled Mr. Norris. Then he heard Filch meow. Filth, is there anyone under the cloak, he said? Filth nodded. And then, Vampire Frenched me. He did it just as Mr. Norris was taking off the cloak. One. What the? He yelled, but it was too late, cause now we were ruining away from him. And then we saw Draco crying and busting into tears and slitting his wrists outside of the school. Draco, I cried. Are oo okay? I guess so, Draco weeped. We went back to our coffins, Frenching each other. Draco and I decided to watch Lake Placid. See, isn't the depressing? On the gothic red bed together. As I was about to put in the video, my eyes rolled up and suddenly I had a vision of something that was happening now. There was a knock on the door and Fug and the mystery of magic walked into the school one. 